stated earlier, we have two cases on the night's agenda, both biopsy cases. And the first case we'll hear this evening is VA 2015-03. Staff, if you will present at this time. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a rezoning request by Joe Hayes um, to rezone 0.84 acres, so the more than three fourths of an acre, from R6 to CH. The property is located on St. Augustine Road, about 600 or so feet north of West Hill Avenue. Uh, this is between the electric um, contractor office and the auto parts store. Uh, it's a narrow lot. Uh, if you blink too long when you go by, you will miss it. It's right where a power line easement comes across St. Augustine Road. Um, the property is currently vacant. As you see here on the aerial, you can see the development to the north and south. Um, it's only about 68 feet wide, but it is very, very deep. And that would be simply wanting to market this property for commercial um, development in the future, or perhaps build something there themselves. And like we talked about at the work session, um, this is not going to be an easy property to develop because of the long, narrow configuration um, and the power line easement taking up about southern 25 feet of the property, which would probably allow some site features but probably prohibit buildings. Uh, Operating plan-wise, this is in what we call the commercial, or excuse me, community activity center, which calls for intensive uses. Um, St. Augustine Road is a commercial corridor. You see on the zoning map, there's already a lot of CF zoning. Um, this is one of the very few parcels that are left that are zoned residentially. Um, but the trend over the many, many years has been to convert these remaining residential properties into commercial. The applicant is requesting CH zoning, which is the same zoning category to the north and south and across the street, so it fits in very nicely. And, and the packet is our standards for exercise of zoning power. And this checkout is being very favorable in support of the rezoning. So therefore, staff is recommending approval of these after finding consistency with those standards and the comprehensive plan as a whole. I'd like to answer any additional questions you may have. Thank you for presenting commissioners. Do we have any questions for staff on this request? Just kind of make sure, would you, what is the firm that you're down above? It's about 68 feet across. It varies from north to south. You see it's not a, a rectangle. It's got a little bit of trapezoid shape to it. Um, but if you were to zoom in, and from this distance, my eyes won't zoom in on this drawing. Um, but you, if you look at the, those call-outs, they're about 68 feet of this on the front. What permitting process would you It's going to be a challenge. I mean, you know, small buildings, I mean, there's a house on the property now. I think as long as you put whatever buildings you have along the north uh, side and not be too deep of a building, I think you can make it work. It's just going to take some creativity. Anybody wishing to speak in favor of this request, you can come forward, please. Looks like there is none. If there's anybody, <laughs> please state your name, your address, please. Joe Hayes, 2622 Tom Street. Uh, I'm in favor of Joe Hayes, uh, but I cannot say anything to him. We have any questions for the Thank you, sir. Anybody else like to speak in favor? If none being, is anybody here wishing to speak in opposition of this request, please come forward this time. And there appears to be none. Any more questions between the commissioner on this request? There being no more discussion, I will at this time take a motion on this request. Chairman. Sure. <coughs> I think the property is Kind of speaks for itself. It's going to be limited to what you put there. Power line is going to dictate a lot of it. And the permitting is going to take care of the other. So I make a motion to follow our staff's recommendation and recommend it. We have a motion for Commissioner Willis. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second for Mr. McClendon. This time we'll take a vote on the, the motion made. All in favor, raise your right hand, please. 